So another somewhat depressing situation that we're in right now is that the attackers are getting what they want. You're not reading in the newspapers that the attackers are going out of business and getting legitimate jobs. They're getting the data they want, they're getting the money they want, they're getting the information they want. And as a whole, the security industry is not doing a great job of dealing with that. For the customers that are at the really high end and spend a lot of money and put a lot of effort into security, the outcomes are pretty good often. At the very low end where people just care about data files not being messed up and backup files, backups working, consumer tools like antivirus work pretty well. But there's this vast middle ground where um, there are companies that have, valid, have valuable information but are having a very hard time being able to protect it against the threats that are out there. And even when a company does a good job, it just means the attackers go and target somebody else. So it's not like we're solving the problems, we're just locking an occasional house and the thieves will rattle a few doors and still find a way to burglar burglarize somebody. So from a macroeconomic perspective, we're really not making a lot of progress. Well, so to counteract that, one of the things that we're able to do is to shift security out of places that are very vulnerable to attack, like large software code bases, and isolate components. So if you build a dedicated chip to protect a particular service, a particular product, or if you take a computer network that was once a giant interconnected glob of machines talking to each other and isolate a few of those onto a private network with an air gap and no exposure to the outside, we can use some of these isolation techniques to build systems that can resist these sorts of attacks and actually do so very inexpensively. You know, the cost of an extra PC under somebody's desk is actually a very small cost as compared to what you might spend trying to buy a lot of secure network security gear to try to cope with some of these risks. So to deal with some of these problems we're actually going back in time, isolating ourselves from the attacks that are causing the problems and working in a more offline environment or a dedicated hardware environment where we don't have the same kinds of problems.